Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Molly and welcome to another makeup tutorial video where I will be creating right this look with a lot of winter tips. Specifically, I created this look for the bridesmaid of 2021. In 2021, it's winter time so you need a lot of precautions prior using the makeup products. Otherwise, you will have a lot of patch and makeup will not stay put throughout the day. I will be telling you some tips and tricks while creating this look by which this makeup will stay put throughout the day without smudge or budge or anything and you can enjoy the wedding so yeah if you're interested to know how to achieve this look with some tips and tricks sprinkled over there then please keep on watching firstly i'm gonna go on with the serum because i have a very dry face right now because it's winter mainly i'm gonna concentrate towards my eye area and a little bit on the forehead and also a little bit on the cupid's bow area because this areas really get dry nowadays because it's winter also i'm gonna spread the residue all over on my face then I'm gonna take Nivea soft cream this is the original version it nourishes your skin and it has a very less oily texture which I really like it feels lightweight on the skin I'm also gonna drag the rest of the cream towards my neck and also I'm gonna give a little bit of massage with the moisturizer because I like it this step is really optional you can go with it you cannot go with it I like to go with it during winter I'm just gonna take two drops of this Kama Ayurveda morning oil and I'm gonna just damp this oil all over on my face although this is not a leave-on oil but I like to apply prior makeup now i'm taking a very generous amount of this take worthy silicone based primer and i'm gonna apply it wherever i have pores specifically towards my nose as i have applied the oil i'm gonna refrain from applying the silicone based primer towards my temple and my chin because it can remove the moisturizer from that particular place because that particular place does not produce a lot of oil then i'm gonna mix up the huda beauty and illegal pro foundation on the back of my hand and i'm gonna create some dots over my face and neck then i'm gonna take a wet sponge and i'm gonna simply dab it all over on my face i'm not going to rub the sponge all over on my face because i want the maximum coverage today and rubbing the sponge soaks the excess product so i'm just going to dab 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 then i'm going to go on with the lip balm during winter i like to apply the lip balm after using the foundation because while applying the foundation i feel like the sponge soaks the lip balm and it defeats the purpose that's why after using the foundation i go on with the lip balm also i need to correct some places that's why i'm taking lacme absolute mousse concealer i'm placing the concealer on the corners of my under eye bridge of the nose middle of my eyebrow sides of my nostrils and also sides of my lips wherever i have a little bit of pigmentation like the most women do then i'm again gonna take my same sponge and i'm gonna blend it seamlessly this is the very good step for winter which is taking a lip tint or a cheek tint whatever you prefer i'm taking here face shop lip and cheek tint this is a really good option for winter because this will not create any powderiness or cakiness after a certain amount of time and lip and cheek tint stays put throughout the day so i will highly suggest lip and cheek tint during winter specifically for highlighter i'm taking this matchbox flara highlighter although i don't really like the product but i like it during winter so i'm just placing it on the high perimeters of my face with the help of my finger you don't need any additional sponge or anything you can go ahead with sponge but it's really easy to blend with finger as well in winter i like to take yellow powder instead of translucent powder so i'm taking faces canada loose powder i am placing the powder wherever i have applied the concealer i'm gonna keep the yellow powder for a bit like for two minutes and then i'm gonna dust it off with the powder brush i like to use these tricks only during winter to give my face a little bit of sculpt i'm gonna use a contour stick from sugar contour d4c this is in the shade 02 and I'm gonna place it on the sides of my nose and hollows of my cheeks just to give a little bit of structure I'm not gonna apply it on the hairline or to cut my double chin or anything because during winter I like to keep it really really blushy not like giving a lot of definition to my face then I'm taking angle brush and pack brow pomade in the shade walnut wax to fill in my eyebrows and firstly I'm gonna draw the border where I need to fill in and also I'm gonna fill in the sparse areas then I'm gonna brush my brow so there is no product stuck into a place then I'm taking this very inexpensive eyeshadow palette and today is the day when I will be matching my eyeshadow with my outfit call me tacky but I like to do it so firstly I'm gonna take this saturated of a pink shade and I'm gonna place it on the inner side of my eyes and then I'm gonna take this shade and then I'm gonna apply it on the outer side of my lid and then I'm gonna take this fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna buff out the edges so there is no harsh line on the crease and it just feels like it's seamlessly blended also I'm applying 
the same color on the lower lash line on the same ratio and to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone i'm taking this sugar champagne champion also i'm dragging this highlighter shade a little bit towards my eyelid so that it feels like it is just creating waves and it just meshes into one another then i'm taking cosmic kajal and i'm just tight lining my lower waterline and upper waterline both so that it looks very very beautiful and bold and after that i'm taking sugar mascara to coat my lashes below mediocre mascara but i will be going on with this falsies from amazon they are super extremely inexpensive then i'm gonna apply the lipstick firstly lakme forever matte liquid lip color they are very very matte but they does not feel dry on the lips then i'm gonna top it off with the seductress from maybelline superstay matte ink and i'm gonna dab this lipstick a little bit with the help of my finger and then i'm gonna set this whole makeup with this color bar fixing spray i love this this is a very beautiful drugstore setting spray i must say and with that our makeup is completed yes with that our final finished look is here for you guys i really hope you found this video and this makeup tutorial useful and helpful some way or the other i had so much fun creating this look i just like to match my outfit with my eyes so much nowadays because coronavirus so yeah if you're ending up creating this look then do not forget to tag me on my instagram handle all the links of these products along with my socials are linked down in the description box in case you want to check anything out you can go ahead and check that and if you're liking this video then please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so whenever i will post new new videos in future you will get a notification of that and you will get to see the video first and hopefully i will see you guys on the next one till then i love you all so much stay happy stay beautiful take care bye